We at Terrell Homes is back again to speak about our plight. The people in Terrell Homes feel like they're living in substandard housing now because of what's going on. And uh, it's like, it's, uh, it's very aggravating, hurting, confusion, everything. Because the people of Terrell Homes feel like if we live in a substandard housing, it's emotionally draining, physically and mentally. And we've been waiting a very long time for something to happen. Nothing. We've been given a lot of promises and nothing's happened. Now it's like we gotta go back to the drawing board. How long is that gonna take? Mm -hmm. It's like we were told certain things, we was going forward, now we took a whole lot of steps backwards. Since 2013, and this is 2019, nothing has been done. You know, it's like we out, we're there and nobody cares. Last time I came here, we asked the commissioners, what is your role as commissioners to housing authority? Do you care about the people? Are you clueless or is it for a paycheck? Because a lot of you have not been to Terrell Homes to take a tour. You don't need an invitation. You're the commissioners. Hey, you want us to take you around, give you a tour? We'll be glad to. Because the people in the TA, all of us are retired. So we have nothing but time. And we care about where we live at. We really care. We're not going to let nobody turn us around. We have our goal in mind, and we're going forward. Right? So the commissioners work for the people of Housing Authority, the residents. So if you really care, why haven't you been down there? The director's been there many times. The chairman's been there many times. Where are the rest of you? You might have came to one meeting, but you haven't came and invested yourself in our community to see what's going on. Right? Gentrification is alive and well in the ironbound section, as it is all over the city, as we all can see. Yes. We all care about progress. Yes. Progress is a good thing, but what about us? Yes. What about us? You know, we want progress too. Put yourself in our shoes. You gotta walk in our shoes before you can say anything. But if you really care, you show us. The analogy I have is like, my father worked in the city of Newark for 27 years or more as a sanitation worker. You know, I knew my father loved us because he went out there and went to work every day. And when the doctor told him, oh, you have a heart problem, you should stop working. My father kept on working till the day he died on Johnson Avenue, bringing a garbage can out of the back of our house because he cared for his family and he showed us, so we believed it. So I know my father was my hero and my mother was my shero. And Millie E. Terrell was one of my heroes too. He was a commissioner here many years ago and he showed us what it is in our village, how he took care of us, he showed us the way, he did things for people outside of our community, for the whole city of Newark, he cared. He cared about everybody, and he showed it. And he also showed us, when you see BS, you have to call it BS. That's it. Okay? So we, we want some action, we want it now. We're tired of all the crap and whatever. And if the man came from Washington, from the Brad conversion, Greg Bryant, he should have been brought to Terrell Homes and met with the TA, and we could took him on a tour and gave him some ear full of stuff. Because we care about our community, and we want to stay in our community. It's five to seven percent majority, I mean minority, in the ironbound section. It's a whole city of Newark. You could live wherever you want to live if you could afford to live there. We choose to stay in the ironbound section. It's crime everywhere. You cannot go through the city or any other place in the United States and out of the United States that doesn't have crime. Some places are worse than others, right? We asked for a substation, police substation in Terrell Homes because if you're going to give us cameras, you got to have somebody to man the cameras to see what's going on. And when is that going to take place? We just be told a lot of stuff is hot air. It's all hot air. We want to believe in things, but we have to believe in ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep coming back, doing what we got to do. We don't let nobody turn us around. We going forward. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Rosemary Morsley. Now, just a few weeks ago, director came to speak to Ter uh, to the tenants association at Terrell Home. We thought we was having a good conversation. We spoke on the other meetings that we had had with the director. We spoke about how uh, Lynn Patton came to our meeting. The, we, we thought we had hit the big coup de grace. Lynn Patton was there. The mayor was there, as well as our director. 
So we told them all the things that was going on. They gave us good news. Then Pat said, y'all go ahead, tennis associate, planning board, y'all go make the plans. I'll worry about the money. The mayor said, don't worry. You get the money, I'll apply for a block rent for you. So we're figuring everything is cool. And we repeat this to the director. The director told us, hold up. Then Pat ain't got no money. <laughs> You can't believe everything you hear. So if we go to a meeting and we think we're going to the horse's mouth and we can't believe anything they say, what do we believe? Who do we believe? Are they telling Terrell Holmes what they think Terrell wanted to hear? Yeah. So it has to be a solution to that because since 2013, we were given our walking papers and we were supposed to leave. But I think I just hear, I, I always thought that politicians were all actors and actresses anyway. And I figure, oh well, while they shooting a movie, you know, downtown and the a and are coming and everything to North, won't they just all join up, go on to Hollywood, that's, that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. And send us somebody who will work for the, for, for, for the residents, for the citizens, for the people who live, work, pay taxes, who voted in the city. I, I just don't understand, and, and maybe you guys just don't understand me. You all have homes and you all love where you live. You're not living in that house that house, that home, it's living in you. And we all want to feel like that. Mm -hmm. When I was a young woman, I couldn't even get a, a, a job downtown Newark. Cause my complexion was a little bit too brown. I graduated in July, you know I browned up a little bit. <laughs> so I couldn't work in those stores, but some kind of way, my parent, my father, fought the war and they said, we're gonna find you a better place to live and they sent us to Terrell. And that's where we found our home in Terrell. And when everything was going on, the riots and everything, we stayed here. We fought, we helped clean, we paid the taxes, we seen that everything, all, 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 all the lights is coming all of a sudden and, and, and all these photo ops. Why does you have to have so many photo ops? If everybody in the city is doing so well, your work, your deed will show what has to be done. You don't have to be on camera all the time having shows and what you're doing. Because they'll say, you know what? I'm here. I see what they're doing. But we're here to tell you, we, Terrell Holmes, we're tired of lip service. Mm -hmm. We're tired of lip service. Now, I understand you figure that maybe we're ignorant, we're dumb. But we're far from that. We know when somebody's trying to pay us with a two-headed coin. We, we, we know, but we try to give you guys the benefits of the doubt. After all, you could be my sister, my brother, my uncle, my aunt, we, we, we all, ain't we all family? But we're still all slaves, no matter who the master. Mm. Mm. Let us get together and stop giving so much lip service. We don't have to have no meetings. We don't have to have no talks. We don't have no chit chat. Let us see what, you, what are you going to do. Because after all, we all know anyway that the main thing is that they didn't want us down in Terrell Homes anyway. After that park came, that was the end. They didn't want no browns and blacks in the ironbound section. Because if they win all this building up at the ironbound section, they would have built a place for us. So we're not going to be segregated either. So I, I just say this to say, look deep, in, look deep inside yourself and think about your daughters and your sons grandkids. and your grandkids. How would you feel if one day, granddaddy, they're throwing us out 
Will I see my friends again? What school will I go to? How will mommy and daddy survive? We have no place to live. Put yourself in that place. Thank you.